Hey there folks and welcome back for round two of my best of three competition against Trainer Zabuza in which we were using our LC PGL teams. The rules of the engagement were that the Pokemon that you brought in the first match you were not allowed to bring in the second match. So that leaves me with my Surskit, my, uh, my uh, Sneasel, and my Magnemite. Meanwhile on his end he's got Diglett left. He's got his own Sneasel, and he's got Swirlix. So I'm feeling pretty good about this matchup. He's got nothing... He's, everyone's going to be grounded, so everything's going to be affected by Sticky Web. He's got nothing who can really stop Sticky Web. Um, and uh, and my, Mag, my Magnemite is going to be great for his Swirlix. So I'm feeling pretty good about this so far. So I go ahead and lead off with my Surskit. Um, figured it's the best lead up. He leads off with his Diglett. That's totally fine by me. Uh, he goes ahead and sets up Stealth Rock. That means that Magnemite's Sturdy is going to be broken, which is far from ideal, but, um, you know, if all goes according to plan, I shouldn't need it at all because now that my Sticky Web is up, uh, I should be able to outspeed his other two Pokemon with my own um, Sneasel quite easily. So, I go ahead and go for the Hydro Pump on this next turn. Uh, we're both Sashed, so I take him down to his Sash. Um, his Earthquake wasn't even going to be a 2 hit KO, but that's okay. He's got Sucker Punch, and um, Sucker Punch isn't resisted. I'm not sure if that crit mattered. I suspect so. You you know, on the one hand, you've got Stab. On the other hand, yeah, actually, based on the damage of Earthquake, I would guess that the um, the crit did not matter. So anyway, I'll, I go now out into my Sneasel. He goes ahead and protects um, just to scout out, I guess, what I was going to do. I guess he... Um, I have Ice Shard. Um, I don't have Fake Out. I think he was trying to um, stall off a Fake Out, but I don't have Fake Out. And um, so, yeah, it didn't really affect me at all. His Diglett goes down, and that is 100% fine by me. Uh, now, the, uh, he goes out into a Swirlix, who is his best shot at taking out, uh, taking me out, and that's fine. Um, I go, I'm going to go ahead and go for Icicle Crash. I outspeed, I, mean, I would outspeed in general, uh, but the great thing is I do the calcs, and he's going to get his Unburden Boost here. Uh, and I'm still going to outspeed after the out Unburdened Boost, thanks to the Sticky Web, and thanks to the fact that Sneasel's speed is astronomically high. He really should have attacked here. Uh, going for the Calm Mind was a mistake. And so, had he attacked, my Sneasel would have gone down, and this match might have played out a bit differently. Um, but as it stands, he went for the Calm Mind. I'm going to go for a second Icicle Crash. I was actually hoping for the flinch, but, you know, whatever. Uh, I go, and I'm able to take him out with a second Icicle Crash that is a dead Swirlix, and now all he has left is his own Sneasel, which is going to be outsped by me thanks to the Sticky Web. So this is good game, um, because all he, ha the best he can do against me is Ice Shard or, um, yeah, so he goes ahead and Ice Shard, so doesn't even bother with Fake Out. I'm not sure why he didn't Fake Out. Um, oh, because I'm in her focus, that's why. Uh, because Fake Out would have done, uh, would have completely ineffective. So I go ahead and, actually would have done more damage though, but doesn't matter, doesn't matter. I take him out and I have won this match extremely handily. So I'm quite pleased about that and I wasn't sure that this was going to be the case, but we're going ahead and going on to round three. That's wonderful and I hope you all uh, tune in on Friday for that. So long.